what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you guys enjoyed the last roush creek upload as there will be more of that in the near future for today's video we are going to do some clips of the land cruiser straight pipe exhaust i know a lot of you have have been asking me to do a video dedicated to the exhaust and to see what it actually sounds like in the last roush creek upload there were a few clips that kyle have got had gotten behind the vehicle as he was following it on the trail but for this video we're gonna do a dedicated one just for the Land Cruiser exhaust. Before I get into that, I want to give you my personal opinion on what I think about the exhaust up until this point. I do love it. It's not loud inside the vehicle, as you can tell, or you probably can't tell, I'm not sure if the audio will pick it up on here, but it's not loud whatsoever. The tires are honestly louder than the exhaust is. On the outside, on the other hand, it's definitely louder, especially when you hear it on camera. It sounds good, has a nice deep tone, and it lets the 4.2 liter kind of loosen up a bit compared to what it was before. So the way the exhaust is routed on the Land Cruiser, you cannot make an exhaust that is pretty much bigger than two and a half inches. And if you push the three inch envelope, it might fit, but it'd be really, really difficult to get the looping in up and over the frame and out the back. So therefore, when we redid it, we just did two and a half inch piping, replaced the mufflers, and kept the stock downpipe and the stock crossover um, above the rear frame. So we left those completely stock. All we did was replace the muffler, so there was two long sections, and that was it. I kept the, if you want to call it, cat back uh, on the vehicle for now, but depending on when I get a rear bumper or not, I might have to take that off because a lot of rear bumpers, they droop just a little bit lower and it might affect the clearance with the current exhaust and the bumper. Got the GoPro all set up in the rear, so I'm going to show you guys a few clips of normal driving around town, a little bit of acceleration and what it sounds at like idle. So that's set up back there and then after this is done I'm going to show you what it's like at every thousand intervals on the throttle. So let's get that going for you.
that's some driving around town action with the GoPro on the back of the vehicle. Um, as you can see that I attempted to change the location of the GoPro and that did not work and it fell off. So now the GoPro is underneath the hood. I'm hoping to capture some nice turbo sounds for you guys. I'm hoping it works. We'll see how it does. I stuck it to the firewall. I'm not sure how it's going to hold. I hope it does not fall from the engine bay underneath the vehicle and someone runs it over behind me. That's the kind of sound that this two and a half inch exhaust produces out of the HDJ81 or 1HDT engine on the Land Cruiser. I think it sounds pretty good. I'm hoping you guys like it as well. But we moved the GoPro to underneath the hood. So I'm hoping to capture some nice turbo sounds for you guys from the 1HDT on this 1992 Land Cruiser. they got to hear what the exhaust sounds like and what the turbo sounds like I'm going to set the camera down and do a few revs for you at different rpms to see what it sounds like from the outside at an idle and then up the ladder from there
Well, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the Land Cruiser content. Two and a half inch straight pipe exhaust, some turbo sounds, and some in-town driving. Um, I gave you a few revs there, 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000 RPMs. So hopefully you guys like that. Again, it's very deep. It's nice. The 4.2 liter turbo diesel does come out once you make a few modifications to the exhaust. So again, if you guys like the content, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.